Yes, we have. See, this is a lot faster in reconnecting when it goes down. Wow. Now, this also separately records. So you and I are having conversations that they may not be able to see, but it's still being recorded to the, the stream to save later. Oh, that'll be awkward. <laughs> Uh, Carlos says, that's why I have a kid, so I have an excuse to buy them. Juice boxes and Capri Sun. Uh, I have a kid because of the, uh, the tax write-off. That's the best reason. Good tax credit for Jimmy the Breaker. That, that's actually Jimmy's middle name. Ah, tax credit. Tax. <laughs> J- Jimmy credit the Breaker. Mm, where do I want? There we go. Hello, Mel. Mel. Hello, Jimmy. Uh oh. Speaking of the tax break, <laughs> <laughs> were, were we off during that part of the conversation? <laughs> I think so. Oh. Uh, so Jimmy, Uncle Lee is right next to me. Uh, I'm which, a hologram. Which all he doesn't know what a hologram is, uh, which also means I probably have some art I have to show you uh, that Jimmy made that I keep in the office. That's because he is constantly making art to show Uncle Lee. Good. Well, also remember, constantly make art that you like making. Yeah, that, that's a very that's valid. She has black tongue. Okay, I will. Uh, I do see that chef. I'm sorry, my bad. Councilman Chef, you have a cover coming. You have just increased your chance at the Kai cover. Uh, whoop. Peanuts. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Incoming. All right, you got uh, 17, a.k.a. Josh Allen. Hey, we promised we weren't going to talk about that publicly. All right. <laughs> That's a page now. <laughs> That's the fans-only site. I've already had my subscription. Team Cozy. That does sound like a, uh, a fans-only site. <laughs> Team Cozy. Oh, yeah, this is the marker I, br- I broke. Yeah, I know. You heavy-handed... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Jimmy's here, I'm going to watch my language. Yeah, he... he uh, I'm not a very good dad when it comes to watching my language, but in my defense, I was a sailor. So, I, I was mean, a Marine. You dragged my p- around. That's right. You know what Marine stands for, right? Yeah. <laughs> Councilman Chef, who, by the way, also Navy vet. Hoorah. 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 <laughs> That's it. Hoorah. Semper Fi. <laughs> All right. 17 of 31. Councilman Chef is now also in the running for that little piece right there, too. By the way, Councilman Chef, I also work for the city council. Oh, hey, now. Two. Oh. And 17, Shohei Otani, two home runs today. Really? Only two? Only he didn't two. get the third? No, no. Did, did anybody use the Otani GIF I created for you guys? <gasps> Speaking of, it's not approved yet, but I have a disapproving Doug GIF that I made oh. and a disapproving Doug emote. Oh. So when they get approved, uh, disapproving Doug will be available for the subscribers at level one. Uh, hey, Lee, uh, I, I heard somewhere that the best Marine is a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get stabbed. All right, Councilman Chef, 17 of 31. Let's see what you got, man. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's going to be an X-Men. A giant-sized X-Men. Oh, you know exactly what that is. Oh, Ooh. look at that. How about a Mark Teixeira Wolverine? That's a banger. Goodness gracious. First of all, Mark does not really do covers anymore. <laughs> And if he's doing covers, it is not a hundred and fifty dollars. No. <laughs> Mark Teixeira, uh, known for Wolverine, known for Ghost, Ghost Rider, Rider and and Blaze, yeah. Flames, flames, flames. Anything with fires and claws, that's Teixeira. So you have an original Teixeira, X Men, right there. Now, fun fact, uh, our, our friend Kai got to chat and hang out with Mr. Teixeira, and they were trading stories, and Mr. Teixeira was quite interested in Kai's um, Ghost Rider he did. So there you go. That is a highly visible artist for you, sir. And you are in the running for today's giveaway, as well as the giveaway uh, on Friday for the original Kai piece. And just like that, Chef is in the running. I think this is the... Uh... Hey, damn you, or do I have no connection here? I, I will link it in Discord. So if you're in Discord, go on the sports channel. If you are on our Discord, if you are of the select few, uh, go into our Discord in the sports section, and you will find a GIF uh, by our dear friend Leaf. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he hits a homer. He hits a homer. That was fun to animate, by the way, but that's what happens when a smart Alec, <clears throat> almost said something else, uh, <laughs> artist <laughs> uh, has too much time on his hands. Keep me drawing if it'll keep that from happening. Uh, GIF, yes, correct. It, it, G-I-F is pronounced GIF. Uh, so that is it. It is GIF. It is not GIF. The creator of the GIF said, yeah, no, it's it's GIF. It's not GIF. It's GIF like the peanut butter. It's graphic, not Jaffic. That's right. Don't forget it. Which is like, I cry when people say Wacom. Wacom? Uh, it's Kunichiwa Wacom. It was actually the Kunichiwa company. I got it. <laughs> That's okay. I, for the longest time, I called it Wacom because I thought it was Washington Company because they were in Washington. Now, they're U.S. headquarters, anyways. Hmm. So I didn't know that. Shows you, shows you how blonde I am. I've, I've got one for you. Steven says, I don't give a hoot what he says. He can't change the English language. Well, uh, I mean, listen, I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm simply telling you you're wrong. <laughs> if the owner of something says it is something, then that's what it is, because they created it. They are the god of the GIF, so therefore it's a GIF. They're GIF god. I gotta make another one, too. You have to make another one? Yeah, well, not another one of that. I'm gonna, I gotta do another. I, so I, it took me a little bit to learn how to draw with the Jules Verne pen. So, oh, and also I drew that immediately coming off a three day road trip. So, so I without have, sleep. I have one for you. <laughs> uh huh. This is something that people from Buffalo will know, but nobody else will know. How to herd? <laughs> how to herd? Buffalo. Oh, I get it. Can you say? This word right here. <laughs> Skajaquata. Sk you mean the Skajaquata? Skajaquata, sure. <laughs> Skajaquata. It's kind of, I, I don't know. I would say Skajaquata, but. 
So um, most of Western New York and specifically Buffalo was Native American land. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically, excuse me, the Seneca Nation. Uh, so most things that you'd be surprised how many of them are are Native American. And that was one growing up where it was basically a rite of pack- passage. A rite of package. A rite of package, too. If you could read that and pronounce it correctly, you were from Buffalo. You were a visitor if you looked at that and mispronounced it. That is the Skijakwita. Skijakwita. Okay. Skijakwita. Well, it's like in San Diego. Um, I remember one time, like, I, I had a, you know, we had somebody coming over to visit, and they got lost. And I'm like, where are you calling me from? And he's all like, I'm right off of El Cajun by <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> we're like, El Cajun? Like, El Cajon? Okay. <laughs> he's like... I'm by El Cajun and Jamaica. It's like, that's El Cajon and Hamishaw. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just uh, local pronunciation. <clears throat> so we have some people that are really angry in the chat. And by people, I mean Stephen. He says, I'm going to create a word in English called GIF. It sounds like gift without the T. Yeah, GIF. That's what I said. It sounds exactly like it. Here's the funny thing. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, like I, I, I will use it interchangeably. I, I have no, I have no skin in that game as a designer, uh, and as somebody who has actually met the dude, and you know, just uh, yeah, I don't really care. I'm kind of have the same attitude he does. It's like, ooh, why, <laughs> why is it an issue? Oh, that's the good <sighs> juice box too. It's organic. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. The Breaker says Chictawaga, and Car- uh, Carlo says Tanawanda. Chef says, so if the owners decided something, uh, then Die Hard is the best Christmas movie ever because 20th Century Fox said so. I agree. I concur. It is a wonderful Christmas film. Have you ever watched Band of Brothers? Uh, Don is asking that to Carlos, not us. Oh, okay. Uh, Saburo says, good old peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Lethal Weapon has Christmas in it, and it is better than Die Hard. Lethal Weapon is the best Christmas movie. Uh, so this actually brings us to another announcement we're going to make. Um, we have a new idea for a show that we are going to do. On, on a day where we're just not really opening product, it's going to be a dedicated show uh, about brackets, where we pick like eight or 12 of something and decide what is the best or worse. Mm-hmm. And we are randomly assigned like four or three of them. And whether we agree or not, we have to fight verbally uh, and represent devil's advocate style, the item that we were assigned as why it is better or worse than another. That would be damn entertaining. So we were going to invite you if you could keep it PG-13. I I can keep it PG-13. Okay. He's in, Doug. All right. I'm in. As long as I can. Christmas movies is a great topic. Christmas movies is what made me think of that. I thought we were going to do something about lubricants. Well, I mean, there is uh, baby oil. There will be suggestion boxes that you can put. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Or you could, you could, uh, we could make it, you could, um, spend your chat bucks yeah, uh, right. to decide the, right. the theme of the discussion. So by the way, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a, I'm doing a squid now for Jules Verne. Uh, so if anybody wants me to crack open an adventure box and hopefully get a leak, did anybody see. get the, the, uh, no, no, oh it's my still God, alive. still in there. It's that's still the alive. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm waiting for, I want to trade for that. They're over on the right. Big, big envelopes. Big, big oh, they're big. Yeah. So it's in the envelope. Big. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not out. Yeah. Everything in there, I believe everything is live in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is a... Uh, the piece. It's yeah. on the cover. It's on the cover, yeah. Yeah. It's the, the I, I did uh, the Nautilus. It's uh, it's uh, it's kind of a big deal. Fully painted. And it, I so I, is, is the Kraken for anyone that buys a, an adventure box? It has to yeah. be an adventure. Okay, it's an adventure. Hold it on, has to be adventure. Yeah, if you buy an adventure box, you're, I will, in, you're, you're gonna get a. You're gonna, or you could do. I can give you sketch cards if anyone that buys adventure. I'll do. Can. I'll do a Kraken only on anybody who buys one. This so, is what so he is talking about. To do it. I got plenty. 
Uh, Kevin oh, P. West. Oh, cards. Perfect. Kevin P. West says Gello Wrestling. I don't know what that is. Um, you'd have to define what makes a Christmas movie. Well, Saburos, Die Hard wins. We're actually be debating on what's next. Like Gremlins. Gremlins has got to be a close second for Christmas films. So when we're doing a word pronunciation bracket, Stephen will be the guest. Stephen Stephen will be the moderator. moderator. You know, it's not pronounced Ikea. He doesn't have a gavel. Ikea. He has Ikea. a nail gun. Ikea. <laughs> Wrong. D ladies like definitely gremlins. Yeah. Uh, so this is the gorgeous piece that I want it. Lee Cozy is talking about. Doug has already bountied it. I Doug it. said, I am going to trade some stuff for it. And uh, Doug's got some cool stuff to trade, so here's your chance. <laughs> it's not pronounced gremlins, it's dremlins. Dremlins, yeah. Can't, can't uh, get that I'm one wrong. pretty sure that's what I said. This is uh, getting out of control. <laughs> out of control. Uh, that is also <laughs> available still. That one is gorgeous. That was Kevin. Yeah. How about some Jamie yeah, Sullivan? Jamie Sullivan, that was beautiful as well. Atlantis. There's a lot of big hits in this thing. Story. There are. This is already gone. The Doug okay. has this I've one. I got that one. I would trade that for the Nautilus. I like it too. A little oh, Paul okay. Maitland. Rawr. That's cool. That's gone. That KP West was pulled. Oh, did the. Uh, I think my mommy pulled that one. Did the Rocketeer piece end up in this by chance? Which one? The card you had? No, I have that. It was not the oh. right size. I have that in okay. there. Still available? I think that one's still available. That is... No, that's, no, that's still available. The Wizard, of Oz was pulled. the Wizard of Oz was pulled. That's right. The, the Wizard of Oz and that one were a lot of fun to do. This, I, I, I don't want to oversell how good this is yeah. because I may want to trade for it and I don't want people to make me overpay. <laughs> I, 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 that's right. That's, <laughs> what was the scariest part? Oh, definitely the octopus. Yeah, All the, right, the kids, giant octopus. Beginning. When I was in first grade, <laughs> and, <she didn't> <laughs> <laughs> and I went, uh, 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 <laughs> I almost started puking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid, start it again. When I was in first <laughs> uh, Highlander is actually in uh, fantasy, I believe. Yes. Which, by the way, also has bangers in it still. You guys have only scratched the surface of a lot of these. There it is, right there. And there can be only one. There can be only one unless they need to reboot the franchise, and then there can be three. But we're not going to get into that. There can only be one. Maybe two. Oh, goodness gracious. Big yawn. They learned from Doctor Who. This is the one that uh, Maddie didn't want. <laughs> Thankfully, it, it went, so she won't have an opportunity to second-guess herself. Okay, good. So, save Maddie some agony. Right? Oh, Don, Monkey King. Don Wynn just killed these. So good. Kaiser. Ooh. I think that got pulled. Yeah. I yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's goodies. There's goodies. The squid is an adventure box. Yep, that he is trying. He is trying to will in existence. I, uh, I would love to be here when that piece gets pulled. You and know, since I don't get up here often, and, my adventure. And that reminds me, Lee. I got to give you a shout out. Oh, oops! He found it. <laughs> Who opened the box? The shipping box. I did. That must have been a shock. Yeah, it was. It was very <laughs> shocking. So if you remember the uh, the the time when we put together the animated uh, Star Wars run and they were guaranteed one sketch card per. Back in 2010, this was made, which means you probably did the art in 2009, right? Yeah, 2009. 14 years later, while the artist is live in our chat... We pull a droid sketch card from said artist, this guy right over here. No, my favorite part, though, is not only that, but also by random happenstance, that sketch card poll was actually by Stephen Edwards, who is my co-panelist. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> at San Diego Comic Con when we do the uh, uh, the making a living being creative panels. <laughs> so Lee was so kind to recreate uh, the droid on the box as a keepsake for probably one of the most improbable pulls. Adios, buddy. Uh, probably one of the most just don't tell me the odds is all I have to say. Yeah, that was uh, that one's nuts. And how was well, they got a hundred artists did cards in it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's there's usually a lot of us. <laughs> so for that random to be in there is just insane. And we were talking poop about it because it was damaged coming out of the box, <laughs> and lo and behold. Oh yeah. Commit man, before how you doing, actually, friend? Before we actually realized it was mine. Yeah. <laughs> I even think you said all oh, my cards would never have that happen. And then you're like, I can guarantee. You look at the corner, it's like, no, I put all all of mine were they were packed, they were wrapped. They actually I I shipped them in card boxes, like thick, like, you know, designed to be shipped in card boxes, packed with foam. There's there's barely enough room for air to circulate in these damn things. And then those are sealed shut, put inside a shipping, a flat rate shipping box. And then that's stuffed with usually like the air packaging, you know, uh, whatever stuff to keep them from moving around. So yeah, my card should never get damaged like that. So that is totally production, not me. It was For their, the it was their <laughs> automatic thing that's, uh, that the sorter, whatever it's called. Bob. Handler error. Bob the sorter. Councilman Chef said, Welp. I want an opportunity at both of those cozies. So, uh, Chef is in. Chef is in. That's going to be number 10. 10, I say. Yeah, thank you, Chef. All right, Councilman. Also, uh, he's in the running for the map relic, which will be given away on Friday. Sweetness. Oh, <laughs> he came wants back. To, he <laughs> wants to lay claim just in case. He wants. <laughs> Doug was Strange in. Strange things have happened. Have we shown you yeah. the Clone Wars box? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Doug was in in his car in the parking lot, and he got out of his car and came back out. By the way, I love the Bronco. No. All right, 10 of 35. Is this is this going to be it? Is this going to be, he's like, ha, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Let me see. I can't show you. Here's what I can tell you, though. The magic... <laughs> Of the awesome. unicorn. The magic of the unicorn. Choose from 27 endings. How could I possibly have tied in uh, the magic of the unicorn? Or is this one of the ones that I just simply couldn't tie into anything? Well, there's a bonus. Oh. Indiana Jones, Thunder, in the Orient. Indiana Honus. Oh, I'm sorry. Indiana Honus. I'm wearing my Indiana Jones shirt, by the way. You are. You are wearing an Indiana Jones shirt. Yes. That is nice. Is that one of the Roosevelt ones? Yeah. Those are nice. I like it. Pretty fancy. It, it, it is fancy. But that's not all. This stream, not sponsored by Roosevelt. Not sponsored by Roosevelt. Be. It should be. Should <laughs> be. I, we will I mean, I'm adventure. I'm actually kind of wearing adventure. I got my life aquatic with Steve Zissou. Oh, okay. Hold on here. Ah, uh, yes. I just want to make sure. Okay, it is empty. Good. So, the magic of the unicorn. How did I tie in the magic of the unicorn? Magic. He drew horns on all the characters. How about Jamie Sullivan? That's beautiful piece. That's nice. Now this character's name is Zelda, right? That's this is Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> on our 
our bracket of common misconceptions. That's on a bracket for misconceptions. Like, oh commonly... Oh, yeah, I think, yep, that's Zelda, you I, jerk. I, I, I... And there's a legend about it. There is there is a legend. And he, pl- he plays in Ocarina, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Zelda. <laughs> that's right, the Zelda. I grew up uh, in playing uh, Legend of Zelda with our dear friend Link here. So there you go. There is Jamie Sullivan, very well-published comic book artist, Jamie Sullivan. So you got a Sullivan, a Dark Horse comic, and you get to choose your own adventure. I hope somewhere in the adventure you get to ride this unicorn. And I hope, for goodness sake, it is on its back. And I'm also good for this one. Or actually, you want to throw that one in there? And we have we'll to, we have to wait until we're done at the end of the day. Oh. Gotta, gotta find out. Gotta give everyone an opportunity. But right now, Councilman Chef is cornering the market. Well, I was just going to try and put one in all of them that were sold. <laughs> I mean, if you want to... How many do we have left? Uh... 300? Uh, I think we have 300 boxes left. <laughs> uh, about 220 boxes. You don't have to go home today, right? <laughs> well, I, 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 you'll be playing D&D with Steven, so I can I will. crank out a bunch tomorrow <laughs> at his place. Finish the I, I, I won't be. Give them to him. T- tomorrow, is, uh, tomorrow is Friday? Thursday. Thursday, yeah. I'll just I've lost here. track of the days. Just to, putting it out there. Tomorrow's Thursday. I won't be I won't be playing D D for another week. Are you sure? Tomorrow is Thursday. Today is Wednesday, right? I don't know. We've been on the road. It is Wednesday. We it's, literally it's gotta here. be because I saw, literally drove straight here from Portland. It has to be Wednesday because I saw <laughs> Trevor today and I only see Trevor on Wednesdays. Ah. So I know it's gotta I be. I don't see Trevor. Trevor's a mythological creature where I live. Uh, Don says, hey, DC, you lazy twerp. Can you show Kemet Men, the Darth Maul, and the Thanos giveaways, please? Uh, I can. I shouldn't, but I will. This is the oil painting by Kai of the Darth Maul. <coughs> this is going to be given away in the future. I can't tell you when, but somebody is walking away with this gratis. For free. For those who don't speak Spanish, uh, for free. Cuidado. That is freaking gorgeous. It is. It is like stupid good. Like, it is. You have to insult it because it's so good that it's just like, I need to knock you down a peg. Can I? Can I leave with that? You cannot leave with that. As a matter of fact, now that you've said that, I'm going to make sure I see it when you leave. I'm going to keep it in, in, in line of view. It's going to be line of sight. So that is for an unannounced future break. Kai, art trade, brother. But on Friday, this bad boy is being given away. Somebody who purchases into the sketch cover break will walk away with this for free. And if you're wondering what the retail value of this is, uh, a book by Kai is 500 smackaroos. Or in Australia, I believe they're called uh, dollary dues. I thought they were wallery dues. <laughs> it could be. I, I haven't been there yet. Uh, by the way, shout out to my Aussie friends that are listening uh, to the recording. Uh, Ninja and Joe. And Joe. And uh, Ringa, I believe, also is out there. Shout out. Shout out, shout out. They're multiplying. That's awesome. I When I worked at the other place that will not be named, I, I had a very strong following from Australia. Now that I'm on a different time they make fun table. Of your tops razor? No, I will. It's a knife. <laughs> oh, it's not a knife. It's a knife. Uh, 
so Kevin is another coworker, which means we aren't getting much work done tonight, which also means as a, uh, a fellow, fellow uh, union brother, uh, shout out to, to my, my union friends here. Uh, for those who are new or don't know. DCD has a union? I, a year I'm and a sure. half ago, uh, I was working in a factory uh, as part of the Steelworkers Union. Oh, I remember this. This is where we were worried about your fingers. Because, yeah, it's I wanted to make sure I, I left with as many left as I could get. Uh, and I think we did good. I think I think we did. We did all right. Most we managed. Yep. We managed. Okay, then we left, but we forgot about the right. <laughs> I don't. Ah, now my toes. That's a different. That's something completely different. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Um, so yeah, all of that is true. And, and now I get to sit in front of the camera and be an absolute goofball for all of you. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I am up for goofballery. Goofballery. Hmm. Uh, DC, hopefully Lee had a safe trip from the city. He's still on the trip. It hasn't ended yet. It hasn't ended yet. It's still going. Although I'm slightly mortified. I'm hoping it's in the car, Chewy. Thanks, Kevin P. West. The uh, the Ultron piece is missing. The... It wasn't with the stuff I gave you guys. Oh, wait, uh... no, wait. Might be... Actually, no, actually, be... I didn't get the Ultron might be... piece. Check the plastics, any of those? Because I, I tend to slide it in there. Okay, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Let me see. It's, it's uh, John with the Wind... No, I think I know where it is. It's I had a whole bunch of these pieces in progress. Oh. And I bet it's in with those. So. Okay. Let's go to the uh, Lee uh, below the waist cam. <laughs> Lee's junk cam. There you go. Here's my junk. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> it is. My, my junk is blue at the moment. It's been a rough week. <laughs> Now, uh, tell me about this specific robot and why nobody recognizes it. Um, I made this one up. So. Hey, so would you say that's your IP? This is my IP. This is my IP, man. <laughs> Ip man. So, but yeah, this is, uh, um, we're doing a, a, a robot themed break. And uh, I, I, was, I was actually doing an Ed 209 that I, I really, like the idea in my head is crystal clear. And it's just not executing as well as I see it in my head. So rather than doing subpar art, I was like, screw it. I'm going to replace it with something else. So I decided I would do my own IP. And then maybe in the future we can do something cool with this because we, you know, DCD will have the rights basically to reproduce this in some way. So, uh, which I would love to do something kind of exclusive to the community and stuff. So KP says that's Lee's Iron Giant. How tall would you say your uh, robot femme fatale is? Uh, at the moment, 14 inches. All right, so... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 36 centimeters. No, 14 inches, yep, that's right. There you go. Yeah. So it is It is Lee's uh, iron uh, little Need person. <laughs> now, when you when you create your own characters and your own IP, mm-hmm. uh, and let's take, like, Kindergoth out of this, something where you just do, like, a one-off. Do you have a backstory in your head uh, when you create these, or do you just shoot from the hip? I told you I had it somewhere. So I can't show the other picture, but here's another in-progress piece for the robot. So, Yeah, we haven't announced robots yet, by the way, but... Oops. Yeah, robot. <laughs> Doug isn't here. <laughs> Spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> robots are coming. Now, th- what's specific about this is uh, this is going to be a fully painted run for you? Yeah, the these are not the hits. These are the base cards. These, so the, uh, we're going to repeat that. <laughs> In case you did not hear that correctly, these are not the hits. These are the base. Here's your usual sketch card. <laughs> Here's what we usually do for the base. This is a base piece. <laughs> KP is like Doug is turning his car around right now. <laughs> this is 
This is a base piece. That is a base piece. That is a base piece. That These is a are base not piece. the hits. None of the pieces you saw today are hits. This is a base piece, and the cool thing about this is the smallest piece here, except while it is a base piece and it is small. Yeah. It's actually a big deal. One of my Marvel artist proof cards uh, from the Avengers uh, series that I did for uh, Rittenhouse. So it's an uncut, and it's the base. So uh, these usually, like these easily, I usually sell for uh, like 500 bucks, you know, 400 bucks a piece. So yeah, it's going to be, and that's, that's more than what the base box price is, and that doesn't include the hits. Um, so yes, it is going to be a great way to get a hold of um, Lee's really big piece. <laughs> for for a low price. Um, now, I, I do want to point out for, for those who are unfamiliar, APs, a.k.a. Artist Proof, are highly sought-after collectibles. Uh, these are usually the allotments that are given to the artist directly, as well as the original ones for kind of the artist to, to doodle on uh, what they intended was. The artist would doodle on these first before they worked on the final product, but since artists are really good at what they do, they just go ahead and do their awesome job and keep the artist proofs. And now they become super high collector's items. I don't know if I was supposed to say that out loud. Yeah, uh, you can say that. But that's, that's, that's how it works. So this is an uncut artist proof from the Marvel Avengers Sketch FX uh, series. That was in 2011. And we're throwing a little Ultron on there. Yeah, so what's funny is um, a lot... Like, I worked on i've done sketch cards i stopped doing them for the most part i, I still do them occasionally i think the last time i did was mlb just because i wanted to do mlb but i stopped doing sketch cards for the most part a while ago but um i i remember at a comic-con once i had some of my sketch cards out on display and somebody palmed a couple of them and i was just so angry i stopped taking my sketch cards to shows so that means I have sketch cards from like 2002 all the way to Major League Baseball's, you know, 2022 set still in my collection. So they're in, I'm, I, now I have a display case to keep them locked up. So if you come to Comic-Con, they'll be there. We'll have a bunch on display. Um, and yeah, but for the most part, my, my sketch cards, I, I only sold them if people knew I had them. Uh, if you had to act, physically come and ask and say, hey, where are your sketch cards? Right here. Got it. Now, let's talk a little bit about 2022 uh, Tops. You were in a very elite series. Uh, yeah, the Canvas Collection. Canvas Collection from Museum Collection, correct? Yep. And when you were making those, uh, and you were coming up with a list of uh, baseball players, uh, did you reach out to anybody or any groups of people uh, to <laughs> come up with uh, some of the names as you are not maybe the most avid of baseball player uh, fans. I, I, yeah, I haven't watched baseball in the last few seasons. So I was like, okay, so who's hot nowadays? And uh, yeah, I reached out to uh, DCD as well as uh, some people on my stream uh, as uh, from my stream, uh, Cozy Art Stream. And then uh, I believe also the DCD fan base as well. So we were talking about it in, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Discord at one point so yeah so one of the great things about this community is literally just being part of this community you have the opportunity to shape collections and to actually influence what is produced in major runs and by the way if anybody finds the ken griffey jr card that i did the original sketch for card. the 2022 uh notify anybody at dcd collects there is a bounty on that piece there is a pretty hefty bounty on the original Ken Griffey Jr. from 2022 done by Cozy. There are reasons that cannot be discussed on camera as to why there is a bounty. All right, Don, take care, buddy. I love you, man. So, by the way, here's the, uh, here's the other uh, squid that I did. Is that it, a Kraken? I can't reach it. It's the same, but different. Just get it tattooed on the next other arm next to I know, right? If and then I did, a, just... I did a quick Man on the Moon piece. Uh, this, whoever gets this, I apologize. 
I uh, it was my first time drawing with a Mont Blanc pen, <laughs> and it took me a while to get used to it. But uh, but yeah, so I'm using the Mont Blanc pen for all of these Jules Verne pieces. Now as a Jules Verne Mont Blanc edition. So since uh, since Doug left, that means you get to keep the pen until you see him again, right? Hot damn! Yeah, I suddenly feel ill. I'm not gonna make Comic Con guys. <laughs> 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 what's going on rex over how you doing we're talking about original art uh that you can find on dcdcollects.com uh we are featuring lee cozy good friend and very esteemed artist although he won't say it out loud uh you can find his work at cozy.com and we are discussing some of the art that is in some of our mystery boxes and in upcoming mystery boxes. And by the way, so this will be the third piece for tonight. So, so far, one piece is going out, uh, and then we'll have two more. So if anybody wants to buy more adventure stuff. There you go. Lee is going to keep pumping out art. Those who buy mystery boxes are going to be in on those chances. I want to see somebody pull my, my, my uh, Nautilus. That Nautilus is ridiculous, and I say that in a good way, Lee. Thank you. Uh, that was the one that, that, that Trevor, Doug, and I kind of huddled around, uh, and we're very thankful uh, <laughs> that the, the table was waist height. <laughs> but it did go. <laughs> I dropped a pen. Okay. All right, and... See what else we have here. Because like right, this, I've, I've never actually seen the setup while you stream, so this is a really good rig. I like the setup here. Actually, it's it's funny you say that. I literally built this all today. Like the this part here, this is all today. This we Spitty. slapped together with a hope and a prayer, as you can tell by the crap job. Yes, uh, <laughs> I, I concur. It's a crap job, mom. <laughs> We really no, didn't Trevor, have... everybody, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and not a lot of art gets actually done here, so usually, you know, it's it's done at your place. It's, it's nice to zoom in on my cries. It is awkward to draw here, but... Uh, uh... We tried. We, we made an effort. No, no, I, I, I appreciate it. It's amazing. Uh, Carlos says, Friday is for adventure. I think every day is a good day for adventure. But I know that is not what you're talking about. Uh, which actually reminds me, I think I have to update. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Well, I should not be yawning. So who plans on buying an adventure this week? Carlos is going to buy one Friday for Shizzle. Okay. So I'll make sure to do an extra piece to make sure there's one for him as well. Ooh, Carlos, do you hear that incentive? All right, Hellbolt, you win that lottery, buddy. I need you to move to California. Good luck, Hellbolt. KP says, I still cannot believe that I dropped in at the exact moment last Friday that Bourbon was pulling his art. Hey, Bourbon needs to not do that stuff on camera because there's rules. <laughs> That's why he's not allowed to have a camera. Just a chat box. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I forgot how good juice is. And the, and that's also the good one. I love that one because most of the juices are just like sugar. Yeah. And that one actually has like vitamins. Well, and stuff. it's apple ever after. <laughs> Um, uh, what else am I missing? Let me pull out. Is it other pen? Uh, this, this, this is the pen I, I use. So I'm using the Mont Blanc to kind of lay out stuff. And then I do all the cool effects with the actual art pen. Because the Mont Blanc is an amazing pen. But, uh, uh, I'm not as versed with drawing with it as I wish I had been. So, um... Doug whipped out his Mont Blanc pen. Um, he's like, oh, I'm going to have Lee do uh, some sketches with the Mont Blanc. And I was like, oh, cool. Can I see that? He goes, no. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. He goes, no. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Doug, 
eat your heart out, man. I am in like Flynn. I'm actually going to even take the screen off of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Yep. So here's a fun fact. Uh, my grandfather, uh, Grandpa Dan, was a banker. Whole life, retired banker. Um, and I remember chewing on pens that had this logo on the end of them. <laughs> I'm sure he and, appreciated that. And I don't think he cared. I was I was the firstborn of my entire generation in, in America. They were just happy I was there. Um, and, and now that I actually looked into the price of Mont Blanc pens, I am mortified that I used to chew on pens uh, with that exact same logo. I would also like to point out that logo. that pen is an antique now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I, I am that old. And, well, I, I wasn't making fun of the antique, but just the, the value is added because those that was before Mont Blancs were being collected by people. They were just yep. being, they were just awesome pens being made in small numbers. <laughs> Paul says, DC, if you lick it, it's yours. Just saying. <laughs> my germs. <laughs> my, let me use my strong hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tempting, Paul. It is very tempting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but uh, since Lee has to continue to, to draw with it today, I am. Uh, thank you, Hellbolt. I am not <laughs> He just wants me to lick it. Ah, Hellbolt's like, I pressed the button. Yummy. Um, so all, all that's, all that is wonderful. So right now you are doing a Nautilus, mm -hmm. uh, being attacked by a Nautilus. <laughs> uh, by a mollusk. Hmm. Nice. But close. Let's go back to the uh, waist down cam. <laughs> I say that because uh, Trevor and I set this camera up, and this camera, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can. I should be able to change the. Here, here's the best place for me to draw if you can get the focus on oh, yeah, that yep. spot. Give me. Let's unlock that. Let's that's click even, that. It's even tilting it down a uh, little bit, but at least. Let's do this. This button here, that button there. I like how the crotch cam is called Lee. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's made specifically <laughs> for you. <laughs> Wide angle lens and everything. Thank you, Trevor. That was wonderful. It's just zoomed in really, really far. There we, oh, 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 there we go. That's it. That's as good as I can get. That's fine. Better than blurry. Paul Maitland said emperor voice. Do it. Execute Order 66. Uh, if you're here after midnight Eastern time, I can place an order, but that won't happen. Um, it, after midnight Eastern time would be nine. I will likely not be here 9 p.m., unfortunately, Craig. But what I will do, Craig, is I will make sure that we have, <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul's like, it's an hour and eight minutes. Yeah, DC can drag that out. What are you saying, Paul? <laughs> right, <laughs> stretch, stretch, as they say. Um, I, I can, I may be able to secure uh, a little something, uh, possibly tomorrow, if we ask nicely. Uh, Lee does have a very long drive ahead of him still to the house of s and uh, So, we just don't know. Remember your safe word. That's right. That's rubber how... Baby, baby, bu rubber baby buggy bumpers. I'm dead. Uh, Rex says, uh, do you ever do digital arts at all? Uh, if you do, please use a stylus and it will help. And if you do, can you make it a challenge for your followers to draw any anima game? Uh, anything you ask us to draw just for fun. So fun fact, we have an anime manga break coming up that will be launched uh, right at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, 
KP says, it'll be my birthday. We can stay up. And, and uh, the answer is yes, I do do digital art. Uh, I am actually on the Adobe beta team. So I, I work in the... Uh, that's why I don't do a lot of digital art on stream is because a lot of my, my my software is basically... NDA. The NDA. Yeah. yeah. It's the stuff you're not allowed to see yet. So... Uh, what's the pen you're using now? Because he likes that one. Uh, this is, um, uh, oh boy. The, uh, trying to remember the name of it. Kura, Kurabashi? <laughs> Maru? Kurasawa? Oh, yeah, Kobayashi Maru, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have several, but, um, it's a... Uh, ask me when I'm on my stream. I can just show you the box because it's all in kanji. But it's a, it's a, uh, um, yeah, it's it's a Kobayashi Maru. No, it's a, a not Kurosaki. Ah, uh, see, I've scripted now. Now all the words we're throwing out too many Japanese words and I'm messing it up. But uh, basically, it's just a they're brush pens. Um, it's the this is a a, a variation of the type that uh, Kim Jong Gi would use. Uh, that he was legendary for using. So you can actually just replace the cartridge right there. So. Kurataki. There we go. Ha ha. Kurataki. It's a Kurataki pen. Mr. Young, how are you doing? This is also Kurataki, by the way. Hellbolt's birthday is June 10th. Hellbolt tends to win things on his birthday. Just saying. I am a July birthday, July 28th, for those who want to get me nothing. Uh, don't because I I hate getting gifts. It's a whole thing with me. I'm I'm March, so too late. <laughs> Mike says I'm living the dream. Well, good man. Somebody's got to live their dream. I try to live a dream. Dude, can you believe I get paid to do this? Can you get paid? Can you believe I get paid to do this? Yeah, okay, this part <laughs> you, I will get. This shocks me. <laughs> This is, this is what I do for a living. This is what I, honestly, this is only a small fraction of what I do for a living. Like building the OBS and curating the boxes with Doug and Trevor and uh, all that other stuff. That is, that is kind of like, I, I do, so one of the things I always loved about DCD is uh, the way that the, the production is done. So they, they essentially will take uh, like, you get you and Trevor and everybody else kind of figure out these two go together, this goes together. They, they, they put the boxes together. Then pretty much like, you know, figuratively speaking, but technically, literally, DC is kicked out of the room. The boxes are then packed and sealed. And then they're just stacked. And then DC numbers them. So you have no fucking clue what is in any box. It is not possible for me to know on the day that I number the boxes live and then random them in front of you, it is impossible for me to know uh, what is inside. Uh, the only hint I could possibly have is if we were to put a really big stone uh, dragon skull in a box, I can feel the big, heavy stone skull. Which they did, except they also put it in multiple boxes. They would put five, so, four, four of them in, yeah. yeah. So I never really know what's in there. When I open that envelope, it is a surprise. I know something is in there that I've seen, but I don't know exactly what is in that envelope. So I'm just as surprised as you are when we open them. That's, that's one of my favorite things about the DCD stuff. Is it so, it's so, well, opaque to you, but transparent to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it's... We, we are working on transparency. There are too many other mystery boxes that are sneaky, that are less than, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Jake. Less than Jake, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, less than, oh man, there's one I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I remember the one they did the skit, so-and-so blanket on a toilet. <laughs> it was like the bonus track. Um, no, but there are some pretty shady dealers out there. Unscrupulous. That's a good word. Um, uh, Less what is, than honest. I had a really good word that I, surreptitious. There are some surreptitious dealers 
uh, in the community, and we wanted to be that different. How is it that number three seems to be magical? It is literally <clears throat> kismet. It is karma. Because we are doing good things and we have good people doing them with us, it is purely happenstance that box three... Oh my God! Box three is next! <laughs> it is. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until you yelled. Um, but also... It's not, I, well, okay. I, I don't, re I personally don't believe in kismet type stuff, but I do know what you guys put in these boxes. So I also know that the odds of getting something cool are really high. So it's not that <laughs> box three is always a hit. It's just that it's likely to be a hit because if you've got a one in three chance of doing it, you know, 30% chance of doing, of, of getting a hit, plus a 100% chance of getting something cool, there's always going to be something cool in there. So, And it's true. I mean, we do stack these boxes. We really, if we have extra art after we pay out the artists and put things together, and sometimes artists may throw in extra stuff just because they like you guys, we don't pocket the extra art unless the artist says, hey, this is for you. Also, um, I've been in the meetings. I will flat out throw all you guys under the bus. They had a product, uh, they had a project that they were working on that came in under budget. And when it came in under budget, they had a choice, fill it with more stuff, lower the price, or sell it at the original price and basically, you know, grift the users. And on actually on both of those occasions, they went with either fill it with more stuff or lower the price. Yeah, we've, we've so I can tell you I don't have anything to do with the building of the boxes. I just make stuff that goes in them. Uh <laughs> sorry Rex. <clears throat> yeah, we actually have um there's three that we lowered the price on. Uh one of them is behind us. So, as you know, usually sketch covers is 199. We were able to get a deal from one of the artists. We grabbed 10 pieces. See you later, Rex. Be safe. Take care. Um, we were able to get a, uh, a a gaggle of pieces. T-Bone! Trevor's here. Sweet. We were able to get a bunch of art uh, at a discount from one of the artists for um, the, the sketch covers. And instead of keeping it at $199, um, we lowered the price. We're like, well, let's just lower it. Let's put in 31 boxes instead of trying to stretch it. And let's just, let's, let's move it down. And that's what we did. Hey, Trevor, guess what number is next on adventure? You will never guess. Oh, that's adventure that we're looking at. Adventure. Nice. Even better. Yeah. Right? Sadly, payday is tomorrow, Trevor. Councilman Chef has grabbed a couple of things. But payday is tomorrow. So I have a feeling in 58 minutes, when the East Coast gets their direct deposit, overnight, I have a feeling uh, Adventure Box 3 is going to be uh, purchased and waiting for me to open tomorrow evening. Now, this Lee guy, look at this. This is the uh, below the belt cam. <laughs> Paul Maitland says uh, box three is going to be the dark crystal. I'm calling it. Oh, you mean the dark crystal that I did? That, that painting was gorgeous. Though. I that The painting that I made, you mean? Because uh... there's no other signature on it. Is it not signed? Not signed. <laughs> I, I did it. It's mine. I did it. it I, I, have to, I have to sign it when it's pulled. I will be signing it so that everyone knows. Uh, I can sign it. <laughs> Just pull it out. I'll sign it. That later. would be a great lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, am I okay to sign it's it? A, it's a Lee Cozy remarked Paul Maitland Original. art. But the remark is just a signature. The remark is Paul's signature. 
I will I will draw Paul's signature and then sign my name. Oh my god, that was <laughs> that's actually qu quite an awesome story. <laughs> that's like that, what happened. Well, one artist didn't sign it, so the other one did, but then he initialed it because the remark was basically the other artist's signature. It's not a forgery oh, if you don't pass it off. I'm out of juice. <laughs> Uh, Lee is doing a Nautilus being attacked by a Nautilus. Uh, and then previous to that, he did a squid. And previous to that, he did a cheese moon. And he did all of it with a Mont Blanc pen. Cheese moon. Paul said, okay, I'm flying out just to paddle y'all for that one. <laughs> Maybe paddle us. Technically bring the paddle. Oklahoma, the Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber baby buggy bumpers. That's right. Lee, could you draw a quick fizz gig? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's a fizz jidge on it. What's a fizz jidge? Uh, it's an electric fidget spinner. Oh. You don't actually fidget with it. You just hold it and it spins on its own. <laughs> it's for, it's for lazy fidget spinning. Pretty much. It's for the unmotivated fidget spinner. Uh, remember, you can donate everything to VFW Post 8248 for a silent auction. There, there you go. It never hurts to support your local VFW. Because the government doesn't. Yeah. Steven says, Cheese Moon, I love Smashing Pumpkins. That was an epic video. That was. Fizzjig. Oh, Fizzgig. Oh, he said it, that's a Fizzgig. Nice. I think my wife may have fallen asleep. Oh, that's okay. She deserves it. We've been on the road a lot. I know. That's why I'm trying not to hold you for another hour that everyone wants me to. Hard it, to understand the It's safe going to depend project. on uh, Monsieur Sevreuve, uh, because uh, uh, it, it's actually his peace and quiet that I would be disturbing if I stayed <laughs> too late. It is true. So I'm willing to do what needs to be done, as long as it needs to be done, because I'm psychotic. But um, I agree. <laughs> she's not. She asleep. woke up for that. <laughs> I'm psychotic. <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> Myth confirmed. That one is not busted. And my psychiatrist, Maddie, because she only deals with immature people. <laughs> uh, you have to have a mental function of uh, eight or below. Yeah. Uh, we'll concur as well. She's not sleeping. She's just resting her eyes. There you go. Uh, the gate to the house closes at 11. That's for you to know. Okay. And you are about uh, an hour and a half away, so you got to leave soon. Okay. All um, right. So, so there you go. I want it to be known. Let the public understand. Stephen and Maddie have uh, totally broken up the party. Officer Stephen has come into this college frat party and said, "Go home. Go home. Everybody, go home. Clear out." Nothing Except to see here. Come to my home. So I want to point out the reason this is ending early is it. Oh, Steven's taking one for the team. Don't blame Maddie. She isn't even home yet. S Officer Steven. I is, hope he comes home at 1105 to find the door locked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's like, no, out of principle. I'm not letting you in. Steven says, well, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. There you go. <laughs> that, that is true. All right. So that is as good as time as any uh, to call the stream quits because uh, we need to get these two tired people on the road. And I will sign this piece. And so I left three pieces here. Three if, pieces. If that's not enough to cover the, the sale. Well, here's here's the, here's the good news. Since the only person to buy anything today uh, was Councilman Chef. Do you have your dice? Councilman Chef technically gets both of these. Because we gave one for adventure and one for... Um, we gave one for adventure. Oh, the other one is for the next adventure. 
So this one. Let me get this. So we promised one. So this one is absolutely for Chef. Yes. And the, I know this is really nice, right? Ooh. Chef, I'm gonna put that with yours. Um, if it was Chef, I'd put a hat on. We would <laughs> Chef's hat on there. This one is also Chef for buying the other box. And that leaves us with this beautiful little piece right here. Did you sign the back of it? Oh, it's an upside down. Oh, I God damn it. I yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here we go. We have a, an Australian cozy <laughs> give me that. to yeah. give away. I'll sign it upside down, too. <laughs> sign it upside down? Can you, can you do it? Well, I'm going to. Oh, it. okay. I, I got it. I'm going to, you know, just cheat. They don't need to know. <laughs> K O <laughs> How do I spell my name again? Oh yeah. H <laughs> It's it's spelled P A U R L M A I T L A N D. It's 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 no longer upside down. <laughs> Perfectly fine. See? It's upside it's, down, it's upside down. It's double it's upside wonderful. down. So yeah, we are gonna have the to get. Sucks. <laughs> like, damn, look at that crystal. Well, picture. maybe, uh, maybe it is a moon mollusk, and that. Oh no! Nope, then the signature is upside down. Yeah, see, it's, no, it can't. I'm, it can't be a moon mollusk. I should have written my name upside down <laughs> and signed it right. <laughs> so this will be a giveaway. We'll figure it out. I will have something tomorrow uh, that we'll talk about. Uh, thank you, Lee, for giving us some really cool art. Nice. Uh, so, Chef, yeah, those two, uh, the two brown ones are yours. Um, How often do you hear that, Chef? <laughs> 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 the paternity I had suits, man. I had, I had tacos yesterday. That's just wrong. Uh, all right, so shout out <laughs> to legendary artist Lee Cozy. Um, just cracked a horrible joke. <laughs> I, I was trying. <laughs> my I was, apologies. I was to trying to run over on that Earth. one. <laughs> Who had to put up with my sick, dark sense of humor? So it is. Thank, <laughs> Kevin's like, thank you, Maria, <laughs> for, for putting, putting up, up with, with all of this. <laughs> uh, remember, direct your uh, vitriol towards Stephen. Uh, Stephen. <laughs> Edward17 uh, at uh, AOL.org uh, is where you can send the emails to. Um, <laughs> I love those AOL.org addresses. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that said, uh, before I see them out, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Uh, I just want you to know, and it's it stands true today, as always. I love each and every one of you. Please take care of yourselves and each other. Oh, thank you. That was on TV. That's great. I love it. Thank he you, Uncle Lee. He said he loves us all. I got to share. Uh, oh, look, I'm blushing. Look at this. Look at I'm turning off. Look at me. See? I'm all pink. <laughs> I love it. This is great. Uh, I don't know. I, gotta, I don't know if I can finish this show now. Uh, please take care of yourselves and each other. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to do this again, unfortunately, without Maria and Lee, uh, but with uh, a nice piece of art of Lee's that we can uh, mess around with and additional giveaways that I announced earlier. So uh, without and that's a nice that's but a nice piece of art, not a nice piece of butt art. Just... That, is, that is true. That, but now that you've said that we have um, standards. Yes. So anyway, good night, everyone. Take care. Be safe. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm sunburned. I'm redder. <laughs>